Howdy folks, it's Aiden here from Pure Game Guides. In this video I want to go through some of the details of crafting a gun in Biomutant. So the crafting system in Biomutant is very deep and it's very complicated and it's going to take a little while to get used to. So don't worry about feeling confused or not knowing what is going on. In this video we're going to run through some of the very basics. So your weapons, your guns and your melee weapons in Biomutant can be crafted in the crafting menu using components like this that you can find throughout the world. You can find all manner of bits and pieces by exploring different buildings, different areas, by looting bad guys, etc. Just make sure you explore everything because there really is a lot to find and a huge amount of crafting variety in the game. So when it comes to making guns, you will need a minimum of three components. You will need a base type, a grip, and a muzzle. Once you have one of all three of those pieces, you can make a usable weapon. To actually craft a weapon, you want to open up the main menu, go to craft, click on the main hand, and then go to ranged and craft new ranged weapon. Here you will see all the base types that you have currently in your possession and the types of weapons that they will allow you to make automatic rifles, guns, and shotguns. So I want to make just a gun, I want to make a pistol. So I click on my various components and I put in what it is that I actually need. As I said, you will need at least a base type, a grip and a muzzle to make any usable weapon. You can also add stuff like stocks and magazines and things like that. But here's where it gets fun and interesting. You don't need to add those while you're making the initial weapon. You can come back and add them to your finished gun later on, which is super cool and interesting. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a constantly updating crafting cost, taking into account the five major components that are available in the game. You need to be able to match all these values with values from your inventory if you want to actually make the weapon in question. So you can see here, the name of the gun will be generated based off the bits that you actually put into it. I have no chance of pronouncing what that game or what that gun is actually called, but you can see it does cold in addition to the standard damage. And you could see that every piece I was adding was changing the overall stats. So here's where the crafting gets really interesting. There is literally way too much to break down in each individual part because as you find different parts for different weapons etc they're going to do different things some of them might cause critical damage some of them might cause more normal damage some of them might cause some kind of elemental damage or affect the fire rate or something like that so experimentation is the way the best thing to do is have a look at all the pieces every now and then while you're playing through the game check what you can make and if you want what it is commit to it and make it so hopefully you found this video a little bit helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for watching